If you are having trouble finding consistency day trading the futures market, you're probably going to want to listen to this video. There are two primary strategies I have been using to find lots of success in the futures market, not just trading indices such as the S&P, ES, or the NASDAQ, NQ, but the entire futures market. I'm talking about oil, natural gas, heating oil, gasoline, gold, silver, platinum, copper, grains like corn, wheat, soybeans, soybean derivatives, meats like live cattle, lean hogs, and the treasuries such as the 10 year, the five year and the ultra bond. We're also looking at the indices of course. Now there's two major strategies that I'm going to want to introduce you to in this video, which levels are incredibly accurate and reliable. Now, of course, strict risk management is still important. They're not, they don't work hundred percent of the time, but as, I, as I'm going to show you walking through various and multiple charts, you're going to see how powerful these levels truly are. They are VWAP, with one standard deviation and the initial balance. Okay, we're gonna dive into those here in a minute. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Chris Drysdale. I've been a day trader uh, for many years now, um, focusing on small caps initially, had a lot of success, and I moved into the futures market this year, uh, mostly to save money on fees. I was a, a short or a bear um, in the small cap market. And uh, just last year alone, I spent $75,000 on locates. So I wanted to bring a lot of my strategies over to the futures market where um, a lot of these uh, powerful, powerful levels can be established. All right, let's drive into the charts here. All right, this first chart we're gonna look at is oil. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you what you're looking at here. On the left side, we have a 15 minute chart. On the right side, we have a one minute chart. On the left side, this is a weekly VWAP. We're looking at oil, all right? A, v a weekly VWAP is a VWAP that is anchored to the beginning of the week, which is the open of the Globex session Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all right? So we're just, this is the VWAP indicator anchored to the beginning of the week, and we use OHLC, uh, which is the uh, most information we want in our VWAP. We also want this one standard deviation, okay? And on the right side is the same, except this VWAP is anchored to the beginning of the session, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the evening before. All right, this gives us our upper band, our lower band. VWAP is in black on both. All right, and the principles we're going to be using for VWAP is the upper band is going to be value area high, the lower band is value area low, and the VWAP is the point of control. When we are trading within the bands, market is in balance. There is an agreement on price and we can expect to chop between value area low and value area high. Okay. Market is in balance. If you're a balanced trader, you're always looking to short off value area high to get to point of control. If we can get past point of control, we can expect to go to value area low. If we can't get past the point of control, we can expect to go back to value area high. Okay. These are the trading rules of tr being a balance specialist. Okay. Same thing happens on the higher weekly chart, but we use this as a higher lens, a filter to find confluence. All right. So if we're looking for a short, the confluence is that we are below value area low on the week, which gives us confidence that we are probably going to retrace from the value area high on the session. All right. This increases our probability of moving down. Okay, towards point of control as a target point for profits and then ultimately value area low. Okay, if we're an imbalance trader, we are looking for trades outside of balance. So once we break out of value area low, we are now in price discovery to the downside. If we break above value area high, which we don't see on this chart, uh, we see it here. If we break above, we are looking for price discovery to the upside. Okay. Market is in balance. We can expect to keep going up. We can expect to keep going down if we break below it. All right. If we're in balance, we can expect to chop around at least a little bit. Okay. We break back into value. We can expect to get the VWAP, a little sell off. As you can see, a little retracement before we moved exactly to value area high. Couldn't get above it twice. Back down to 
point of control back down to value area low. Okay. This happens multiple times a day in multiple markets. So as I personally scan all of these markets and I don't have it on this chart here that you're looking at, but on this trading station behind me, I have 18 charts of the various futures markets looking for these exact setups. You'll see them across the top here. I have oil, natural gas, gasoline, gold, silver, um, copper, platinum, lean hogs, live cattle, soybeans, wheat, S and P 500, the Russell, the Dow, the NASDAQ and the 10 year. Okay. Um, I'm watching all these markets looking for these same setups. Now to make this strategy even more powerful, what we're going to overlay on this is the initial balance. Now, if you're not familiar with what the initial balance is, the initial balance is the first hour of trading. Okay. From session open. So session open in, in oil is 9 AM. Okay. This is the open cry pit session, 9 AM. It's the first hour of trading. And then we take the high and the low of this session. Okay. If you need any of these indicators or more information, I have a free discord where I stream live every single morning at 9 15 Eastern standard time. There is a link for my discord in the description. It's a hundred percent free. Please join us. Catch me live stream trading the strategy each and every day in multiple markets. And you'll also get access to my layout, my exact trading view setups, um, sorry, setup templates. And, uh, you'll be able to have a lot of more information on this strategy. Okay. So back to this, the initial balance, once these areas are set, this also acts like value area low and value area high. Okay. This is the initial balance high, the initial balance low. These are very powerful levels in the futures markets. What's also very powerful are these extensions. This is a 50% level. So half of IB, right? You also see this midpoint, very powerful level. So 50% to the upside and downside, we have two X IB. Okay. And then three X IB. Why two X and three X? Well, if we're going to take the distance, of the IB and move it. We have two and three. That's all it is. These levels are very powerful. Okay. And then the 50% mark as well. All right. So as you can see in oil, uh, what we love is confluence, right? So if we have value area low on VWAP plus IB low in the same spot, very powerful support level, nice, great trade. Um, asymmetrical trade to the upside. All right. With stop below this pivot low here, targeting point of control. Okay. We tested it twice, three times actually, and it held for the most part three times before it broke beneath it. And then what did it do? It retested it before uh, more downside. We broke below 50% by a little bit retracement to value area low and trying to return to value. Okay. You see, we got a little retracement off of IB low before it broke through going all the way to value area high and the midpoint in the market. Another great confluence area, take profit and then back. Okay. As you can see, it struggled quite a bit in this area. All right. Let's see what else we have. This is gold. Okay. So gold, this is our IB. Now the difference between gold and many of the metals and energy is gold open cry pit session opens at 8:20 Eastern standard time and closes at 9:20 AM Eastern standard time. So this is a completely different initial balance than oil. So it's important to set these up all differently. Silver is different from gold. Okay. Silver opens at 8:25 AM. So nine to 25 PM copper opens at 810 to 910. So they're all different livestock and uh, the grains open at 930 AM. The U S indices of course open at 930 AM. Um, but in the energy section se sector, all of it is that is 9 AM. So you need to make sure these are all set up properly with different templates, which I offer in my discord. Okay. So, um, as you can see, strong level here, I be low, never broke below it once it was set. Okay. That was a great level in copper. We got up to two X IB. We had a nice 
bounce. This is silver, right? So we have the 50% uh, IB high plus value area high on the session plus value area low on the weekly for a nice retracement for continued up. You're gonna take profits, put stop to break even. Okay, once this is the actual took uh, trade I took yesterday was the break into value and the break above market mid. So bulls are in control. We're now trading into to value. My next stop and profit level was right here, which was point of control and IB high. When we did break it, we got nice upside all the way to value area high in the session before we got a little retracement there, as you can see. All right, these levels play out over and over and over again in all of the futures instruments, right? So if you can be watching for these specific setups, there is no shortage of A plus high quality setups with lots of confluence on the higher time frame with a weekly VWAP and our IB levels. Combining these two together create very powerful levels to trade off of and you quickly know when you're wrong to cut your losers quick and let your runners go to where our clear profit targets, right? We break into value area low. Where do we expect to go next? Point of control, right? So if you're having trouble finding consistency, where do I go in? Where am I wrong? Where do I cut my losers? Where do I take profits? This is an excellent strategy for you with highly probable setups and clearly defined entry and exit points. So I, I encourage you if you're new or struggling to find consistency with the strategy that you try this one out, you join our free discord, you trade these symbols with us, watch what we're trading and we'll break this down so symbol by symbol each morning. I post all of my trades, uh, many of my trades anyway, in the discord uh, once I finish trading for the day with complete analysis uh, of this strategy. So I appreciate you listening. Um, I hope this helps. Please join us in the Discord. Watch the rest of my videos. Um, and let's make it a great 2024. And uh, happy trading, guys.